What is going on guys? Wise here coming to you with a recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, this was our week 7 CWL matchup versus Pigeonism. Uh, we're really looking forward to this one. Uh, this was sort of, uh, we're, we're kind of in a must win situation uh, at the moment trying to get into the playoffs. Uh, and you can see uh, 2.0 came through 87, 86. Just was a fantastic war. We pulled out all the stops, uh, Pigeonism. Held their own right to the end. Uh, was just one of those uh, crazy wars right to the finish. Uh, we'll check out some details real quick. Uh, they went three for three on their uh, two-star hits there. So that uh, was really nice for them. Uh, did have a few successful bullies. Left one on the board up there. And I believe had three. Yeah, one on Alpha. One on Jacob. And one on Bear. Uh, three 10 versus 10 trips. Uh, had no problems clearing up those nines. Uh, with plenty of scouts to spare so fantastic job by pigeonism great war guys thank you uh we did actually really well as well we had to use i believe one more hit uh we'd have one fail on these 11s but came up with a 71 percent um on that number two so if it did come down to a tie i think it still would have went in our favor uh, mainly because of that attack uh who knows though <clears throat> but did have uh very successful jobs by our bullies and have one two do, do, do. Three and four, ten versus ten trips to show you, and that was the difference in the war. Basically, uh, same thing for us. Nines had no problems whatsoever clearing everything up and getting all those tens scouted for uh, for our top. So good job, great war. Uh, let's just jump in. I'm going to show a few of these nines in the middle, and then we'll get on to the ten versus ten action. Starting off at 22. We got yeah, Sir Cass. Bunch of guys with six packs this war. Cast being one of them. Nice little mass baby drag he brings here. He's going to go ahead and go in from around this sort of six to seven o'clock spot. Couple balloons in, just taking care of that mortar. Doesn't want that golem walking over there once that mor hit this mortar goes down. That it's on currently. Nice little funnel gets created. <clears throat> that whole side now is funneled and we're going to go ahead and just walk right on into this cannon, this wizard tower, this two of these air defense. <clears throat> only brought the one golem here as well and he does get really good push into the base with that i think he no sorry two golems my bad derp um but still he gets really good push in the base i guess held up by the clan castle a little bit um you know the second jump is down just letting everything move through those small compartments in the core all those tesla spawns getting those expos down just big value with the bowlers under the rage the queen under the rage there king and the golems leading the way down goes that second expo, poison down on those defensive heroes. He has now reached the defensive heroes with this push. Just absolutely crazy. His queen's going to end up finishing off the defensive king and queen here in a moment. Uh, it goes ahead and sends in the area. <laughs> you know, he's only used, he used a couple of baby drags for the funnel. A uh, few balloons on each of those archer towers on the outside, now that all the air defense are down. And the baby drags in these archers and cleanup troops are just going to mop up the rest of this base. Absolutely killed it there, Cast. Nice job. Boom, that is tree in the bag. Hope you guys got a beer. This is uh, going to be a decent recap, decently long recap. SB, bringing the stone entry here. Just a straight uh, go bolo. <coughs> or sorry, boho, my bad. Um a couple of balloons in, trying to get the one for one trades on the mortar. Does get one, uh, does trigger a black mine, though, doesn't really matter because he's going ground. Uh, so it doesn't get the one for one trade on the mortar. It uh, doesn't really matter, though. The, uh, the golem kind of anchors over there. He does bring three golems, so creating the funnel is not a problem whatsoever. Gets the wizard in there to help as well. He's got to work the defensive king. All those Teslas getting smashed down. Just love the stone entry right into the quad Teslas uh, farm there. Once the troops get through the stupid defensive king, there he goes, uh, they're going to jump on into this base. King goes down, following everything right on in. You're going to get a whole bunch of stuff on this entry. Poison goes down, take care of those minis and the balloons and the baby drag that all come out of this clan castle. Very, very quickly, all that goes down. Queen locks on to help finish things off. And Kill Squad is still going. He goes ahead and starts sprinkling the hogs in now from 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock. Just few on each defense. No serious threats here on the outside. The golem's got a nice early trigger on that bomb, so the hog's just going to walk in on the base untouched. I don't think he's lost any hogs at this point. Maybe like one 
or two max doesn't i don't even think needs this uh absolutely doesn't need that heal down goes the mortar and wizard tower and this base is g g look at the hog parade i'm pretty i don't think i, I someone watched that very slowly and tell me if he actually lost a hog there i don't think he did boom tree in the bag sb good job um yeah i think these are all at one two three and four all these guys had six packs Good old pit bringing hogs again, 30 hogs. So one thing I find with these sort of very um, newer concept sort of designs, and you got to do that at Town Online right now because it's it's difficult to defend. If you can just get one defend, that's pretty much about all you can hope for at this point in time. Um, but with these newer designs, I find a lot of times it's very easy to forget some some fundamentals. Um, like back in the day, like a year ago. Um, against a base like this was very, I mean, obviously maybe minus the bomb tower. Um, if you could get with just your heroes and a few funneling troops and, a, or just one golem, if you could get the clan castle and defensive heroes out of the way with no threat of bomb, double giant bomb killing your hogs, uh, you were just going to do this. You're going to bring 30 hogs and a bunch of heals and run through the base just rampantly make sure you get good placements on those heels and you're fine right no bombs no, like not even spring traps really that he's hitting at this point uh does have to get that heel down just in time at the 12 o'clock hogs but he's got just crazy amounts still running through the base <laughs> absolutely smashed it look at that a boy pit What is next? 19 derp do <clears throat> You know the current state of Town Hall 9 when 26 minions is netting you 3 stars, but still a very creative attack. I had to show this one, especially with Derp getting a nice 6-pack this war. Um, gets the funnel created, a few healers down on the queen. She's just going to uh, kind of work the funnel on this side while his king, a few wizards take care of that defensive king. And clear out this sort of 12 o'clock section. Jump spell goes down. Queen's now basically free to just walk in the base. And there's no more trash. Like defense, 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 defense. All that target air, right? Like everything, you know. <laughs> so out comes that clan castle. Baby D and the full D. No big deal. Poison goes down. Rage goes down. See you later. Queen's then going to jump on in, take care of the wizard tower, take care of a couple of those air defense. And we're in business because we got uh, still have a hound, 11 balloons that uh, he's going to use, I believe, around the 9 o'clock section. Drop the hound on the 9 o'clock air defense there and just sort of send in a few loons on each defense and a ton of minis from behind, like a just wall of minis to sort of clean up behind the balloons as they take care of the defenses. It's really just got to... Uh, let the queen do some work to make sure everything sort of funnels right down to this queen chamber. The nice part about this is if you, instead of the minis, or you brought balloons and an extra hound, say, and just tried to lallow that, well, the queen is going to have a lot more value if she's shooting balloons versus if she's shooting minions. And you bring it like 20 minions um, and they get down here under a rage. Uh, she's done for. There's no way she's going to kill those before she goes down. So um, nice nice job. You know, no mines. The minions, minions don't hit any mines along the way. And there goes that rage I'm talking about. Watch that queen just drop instantly with the pups everywhere. Balloon still in there. Base is done for. Queen still going too. Sexy. Nice job, Pit. Or nice job, Derp. Um, next on the block, we got number 12, getting into the 10 versus 10 action here, level one Infernos, Zerds comes in big for us with the Hogs, thought this was a very interesting choice, shattered entry, first golem in for 12 o'clock, couple wizards down, help out with that funnel, next golem in at 9 o'clock, same thing, just getting that funnel created, laying it down, basically wants to take care of all these, like basically all the point defense in here, get into the defensive queen, um, take care of that clan castle 
um, and essentially get this whole section of the base and then just run the hogs straight across the bottom um, with a few, three heels along the way, which is exactly how this attack pans out. In come the bowlers, clan castle full of bowlers, wall gets open, jump goes down, just sort of zigzagging everything in through this base. Really wants to try and get both of these inferno towers here, right? Clan castle's going down, defensive queen is now dead. Kablam, kablam. Fortunately, it is a stupid hound in the clan castle. It pisses me off because the queen gets held up. She ends up getting sort of, it kind of helps at that point. I think she would have went with those bowlers. Well, I don't know, it's hard to say. But anyhow, she ends up going in. King is in there. Down goes that uh, Inferno Tower number one. Huge value on this. And as you're going to see, once everything's now in this core, helping doing a little bit of tanking, in comes the hog. Two finger drop coming in from three o'clock. A couple immediate wizards behind doing cleanup. Nice job with that, Zerds. First heel goes down. These hogs are going to be A-OK. -okay. Like, you look at even where spring traps could be, the direction the hogs are going, it's going to be minimum casualties to those spring traps, uh, other than maybe through this Tesla farm, but that's a different story. It doesn't hit anything along the way. Still has a heel spell for this last little section of base. And down goes the heel. Broom. Set down goes the heel. There we go. <laughs> and uh, Hogs are going to definitely finish off that stuff, and this base is done for. Nice job, Zerzi. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Boom. Very nice. And anyone who follows 2.0, that attack has some significance on this base. It's kind of it's kind of weird. That's all I'll say. <laughs> all right, let's check Alpha's hit. Level two Infernos. Bring in the dragons. Uh, like like the idea here. I was actually gonna do a cleanup video about this, but with the stu again stupid 24 hour replay screws me on that one because there's no way. Um, you know it's one o'clock in the morning here already. Uh, I just finished work and I gotta be back for noon, so I'm squeaking this in. Otherwise I'll lose it because by the time I'm done, it's gonna be gone. Doesn't work tomorrow. It's gonna be gone. But I want to do a cleanup video because uh, Zerds hit this base first was just a millisecond off. So Alpha gets this funnel created early, which Zerds didn't fully do, and gets these wall breakers in immediately. Zerds waited a split second, excuse me, too late. And when he dropped the wall, this archer tower was down. He dropped the wall breakers and they went down to this mortar. And unfortunately, the queen had already started going up, and she gets sucked into this section, and, and the raid gets completely fucked. So Alpha, with just a slight, slight adjustment to uh, that early funnel to the wall breakers, this raid goes absolutely perfect. Uh, poison goes down, taking care of all the clan cast troops, bunch of gobbies, in comes that baby D. No big deal. Witch walks right into the poison too. So he goes ahead and sorry, uh, make sure I see this at 12. Goes ahead and sends in the uh, quick barb and loon combo to take care of the troll Tesla. I thought that was beautiful. Oh, excuse me. Uh, King gets in there to basically just create the funnel for the dragons. Uh, you're gonna see here he just cleared a, uh, cleared this whole section and now just leaves the pathway straight across the base. So in come the drags. Two quick ones on this side to make sure this gold storage goes down. Everything gets funneled in on this inferno. And just works right down through the expos and right through the gut of this base. Queen's taking care of that defensive queen like a champ. Still working in through this base. Gets stuck up on the clan castle. Might go down. She does have the double expo on here uh, on her right now. Um, and has lost some healers now at this point. But just gets out of range in time. Beautiful. Dragon's doing their thing. Poison, or sorry, rage goes down. Hound is in on that one air defense. Just perfect job with that. Few balloons in behind. Taking care of those defenses very, very quickly. Dragons is doing tons of tanking, tons of damage. Queen is still going at the bottom there. She's going to continue to do some cleanup work. Few balloons in. Might have been a little preemptive on those balloons there because they go down before taking care of the Arch Towers. But no big deal. Things are going to continue to work on, around, and into that Inferno Tower. Down it goes. Only a couple arch towers with a smidgen of health to go, and this troll test on the corner. Boom, boom, boom. That is a tree star in the bag for my man Alpha. Nice job, buddy. Good old zap cake, eh, zap quake dragons. All right, Z bear, or is it Z bear? I don't know. <laughs> Z, that's what I say. 
Um, go on ahead and bring 24 balloons uh, with the quad Lilo. I believe this is just straight suicide hero. He's going to go ahead and get a baby D, sort of force his king to walk down in this little alley with this archer tower with the queen behind. She's going to end up mopping up a couple of these whiz towers along the way. <clears throat> he's going to get good value out of this suicide uh, hero. You know, even though he's only got a level 34 uh, king, uh, it does pretty good work. Queen's going to continue to mop up behind. <clears throat> And that whole section is taken care of. Uh, Queen's going to end up stepping up and I believe taking care of the clan castle here in a second. <clears throat> Down goes the expo. Perfect. Up comes clan castle. She takes care of a couple archer towers uh, or another archer tower along the way. <clears throat> so beautiful. Lalo comes in from 3 o'clock and we got wizard towers going down. We got arch towers going down. Beautiful. Few balloons on everything. Really just wanted to force the pathing so everything met up at this inferno tower up here. He could reinforce from 12 o'clock and continue everything down and across the base and it basically sort of end up at this inferno tower and this air defense. Uh, look at the sliver of health on this stupid air defense. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I bet he was shit in his pants. I bet the Hound even takes it out here with a couple shots. Anyhow, Hound's in on it, right? He's got enough balloons in on the outside, right on top of that Inferno Tower. Haste throws them into it. Down it goes. Really, there's only a Tesla. And there's one more air defense to go. Oh, nice little sweeper. Actually, Dennis had a really close attack, but a sweeper. We actually had two 98% attacks on a different base. Um... <laughs> that uh, Dennis had it, except the only thing was this sweeper, and the balloons just couldn't get the sweep. Like just like hap that's happening right now, <laughs> it's like the little balloons that couldn't, they just could not get to the sweeper and get it down, and then he ended up running out of time at 98%. It's too bad, but anyways, not for Z here. He's coming away with the triple, like a boss. That is tree in the bag. Nice job, buddy. Right, last but not least, Justin bringing a very uh, fairly heavy kill squad here. Uh, five bowlers in the mix with the golem, so you know he's trying to get a lot out of this entry. So in comes that golem, wizards down and behind, baby drag on the other side with a couple more wizards. Once you get that funnel created, and basically just jump right into this Inferno Tower compartment that's right in between these two air defenses and in front of the Queen and this Sweeper. Uh, basically getting, you know, even if he just gets that, right, like the, the Clan Castle, the Queen, Inferno Tower, air defense, air defense. He is looking absolutely fantastic at that point. Um, so everything uh, I just mentioned, he is definitely getting at this point. Down goes Clan Castle. Defensive Queen is dead. I don't think... Sorry, I don't think he quite makes this second air defense on this side. No, the queen ends up kind of going to the outside here. Does not make it into the Inferno Tower compartment, unfortunately. But doesn't matter. He gets this in uh, this hound in very, very quickly. Uh, very straight pathing from uh, this bomb tower to that first air defense. So it goes down super, super quickly. Down it goes. Hounds are going to proceed on over to the 12 o'clock air defense. <clears throat> nice little raid spell, getting those balloons going right through that Tesla compartment. Down goes the Wizard Tower. Down goes that Expo. Hastes in those balloons for 12 o'clock. Free spell down. But get, gets That's his like max distance free spell between that air defense and the Inferno Tower. Down it goes. Nice little haste. Can throw all those balloons right in. Inferno Tower goes down. Looking good. Air defense goes down. Still has a Hound going at this point. Just got to make sure that Wiz Tower goes down so his balloons don't get smacked while the Hound's getting worked on. Down goes the Teslas, though, and this base is done for. He's got pops all over the base. Still has a swag. Haste. Beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Great job, Town Hall 10s. Coming away with the victory on this one. Ooh, the little secret hut. Imagine. <laughs> Anyhow, Pigeon is a fantastic war. Um, you know, we uh, we gave it our all, and you guys uh, you guys were right there at the doorstep. So, uh, anyhow, week eight coming up against Kronos. Uh, this should be a good one. Um, you know, we matched them about a month ago. We only beat them by one star, and we had an extra Town Hall 11. I don't know the. F I wish I could go back and check the exact. Uh, no, I'll watch. The, I'll look at the recap maybe. But I know we had a bit of an advantage. Nothing crazy. We won by one star, and apparently there's a lot of trash talking going on. Uh, 
quits, whatever. No big deal. We'll uh, we'll put uh, our money, or we'll hopefully put our money where our mouths are. Uh, but this should be a good one. Uh, the playoffs are riding on this matchup. So anyhow, tune in next weekend, guys. Next Friday should be a good one. Till then, going to call it a night. That'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next tree star. Till then, I'm out.